There's Peter Pan and Santa. Check out the Statue of Liberty in Wrigley Field. The holidays deliver a special treat to the Omni Grow Park Inn in Asheville, North Carolina around this time every year. But Santa is not the one behind the special delivery. No, it's a creative genius of more than 200 bakers and artists who entered this year's National Gingerbread House Competition who deserve the credit. The level of artistry has really grown over these 30 years that the competition has been around. So the competition is called the National Gingerbread House Competition, but it's really grown in more than just houses. You see dragons, you see working gumball machine this year. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the competition. What began in 1992 with a small group of gingerbread houses built by community members has blossomed into one of the nation's most competitive holiday events. I love the creativity about this competition. I love that we're seeing people from the child category on up to the adult category. I love that people are pushing the envelopes and also more than anything that people are still crafting and using their hands. Yes, this is a gingerbread house, or at least a creation made mostly of gingerbread. The two most important rules of the competition, the creations have to be 100% edible and at least 75% of the creation must be gingerbread. The, the sheer creativity um, and then the storytelling behind a lot of these pieces are definitely filling me with the holiday spirit. Um, I love people's creative takes and seeing some of the competitors insert their own Christmas traditions and, um, and their own cultural uh, relevance to, to, the, to the pieces. It's really neat. The grand prize winner of the 30th annual National Gingerbread House Competition is entry A149, Ann Bailey, Cary, North Carolina, when dreams have wings. So it's a play off of Peter Pan and it's an incredible design. She spent over 700 hours creating this piece. It's Bailey's fourth time winning. New this year was the People's Choice Best in Show Award. Jessica Frost's Engine of America took home that honor. It's this incredible design where you see, you know, the Omni Grove Park Inn on one side, Wrigley Field in the front. There's so much to look at and you see something new every time. Want to see them in person? The Gingerbread House creations are on display through January 2nd at the Omni Grove Park Inn. Plan a day trip or spend the night and enjoy the massive twin 36-foot fireplaces, Christmas trees, and a craft brew or signature hot chocolate. NelsonXWSBTV.com.